Alain Roux, who's now retired, he founded the company in 1977, so we're almost 45 years old. And his, his idea was always to try and reproduce sound as accurately as possible. And he was fascinated by the fact that you could reproduce a, an enormous orchestra, a philharmonic orchestra, just with one simple little membrane. He started developing passive speakers and then uh, active speakers and uh, product evolved with the measurement instruments. And uh, we produce active speakers for Studer and also for Rowan, another hi-fi brand here in Switzerland. That's where it was now. And then uh, Studer uh, stopped uh, selling speakers when they were acquired by an American group. So we lost them, but as all the technology and the development belonged to us, we relaunched our old brands, PSI Audio, under a new shape and new colors, the red color, that we sell all over the world now and that's quite respected everywhere. PSI stands for, for precision sound image, because you can literally see what you hear represented internationally in all kinds of domains. We have the, the Bolshoi, uh, for example, in Moscow. We have uh, the, the IRCAM in Paris. We have uh, also famous producers around the world. Uh, we have uh, Boris Blanc, which is our best ambassador, the, the producer of Yellow. Ninety percent or ninety-five percent of the value is handmade here. We have a very flat frequency response. We also have a linear phase response from 150 hertz upwards, and all of this is done with purely analog technology, uh, which we believe is best for a speaker. You can say analog is old school, but now we are using really high-end components and high-end technologies. We are the only one to to do that. For example, like the the phase correction, we have also the adaptive output impedance. Uh, which controls what the membrane is, uh, is doing. We have several uh, filters inside. The benefits of being analog is that even if you have a problem in 30 years, 40 years, you can still replace easily the, the component. The other thing that we do that's specific is that every single speaker that we manufacture is calibrated in the anechoic chamber and receives its own calibration curve, which is a birth certificate. So basically, if you are in the research of sound, we have the perfect tools for that. Ideally, you'd want a, a perfect speaker in, in a perfect room. In the real case, I mean, if you've got a big room, it's quite easy to get it right. If, it's, if you can build your own room, it's probably easier to get it right. But most people have to set up a studio or something or a listening room in a place that hasn't been purposely built for that. And there's often, there's some reflections and things like this bothering you, whatever happens, and that you can't treat like you would like to. And yes, uh, it comes in very handy to have a, a system that can correct these without having to move a wall or something like this. So basically when we put a system, unfortunately we have walls. And when you have walls, you have reflections. So we have the first help of the AVA, which is our active bass trap. But sometimes you have too many reflections. So for this purpose, there is nothing else than a DSP correction like the Trinoff to have the perfect accurate sound that our speakers can deliver. I've heard some places where there's PSI audio speakers and Trinoff systems, yeah, yeah. And it is true that it's, it can give you something pretty spectacular in your listening position, yeah, yeah. And it can dampen out or smoothen out a lot of the problems that you have in your room. You can correct phase, you can correct, you can EQ a little bit of speaker with Trinoff and that's, that can be useful. I've seen many systems based on PSI audio and Trinoff. There was one system particularly who at the beginning seemed to be a bit tricky for me because the left and right speakers were at the right position, but the, the subwoofers were based in the corners behind me. So I thought, uh, but what the hell? And finally, with the Trinoff system, if, if you close your eyes, you don't feel the, the sound coming from the right corner. It was really in the middle. So that was really, I, th I think, the best experience. Since the introduction of immersive systems, 
We are now working closer because the sound engineers want to achieve the best results in the placement, accuracy, in the transparency of the sound. Sometimes you can't place the monitors where you want. There is no other choice than having a DSP system controlling the, the hole. It's like it would be placed where it should be. Imagine if you have a big immersive system with uh, more than 30 speakers and you would have to uh, measure everything individually with pink noise. You would spend a day or two and with the Twinoff system, I would say, yeah, it brings now about maximum half an hour to achieve already the final result. So in the end, Twinoff and PSI Audio is the best combo for any sound engineers wanting to achieve the best results with the transparency and accuracy in almost any room with as many speakers as they could have.